How Baking Works in Tezos Tezos is a blockchain-based cryptocurrency and a smart contracts platform designed for safety, open participation and upgradability. To participate in the Tezos network, you need Tez, represented by the ticker symbol XTZ, which is the native token of the network. Let's take an example. Neil has just received some Tez in his Tezos wallet. Now he can spend it, send it or just hold it. But wait, there is one more thing he can do. Bake it. So what is baking? Well, baking is the act of signing and publishing blocks to the Tezos blockchain. Baking Tez is similar to mining Bitcoin. It performs the three key functions, secures the network, verifies transactions and distributes rewards. But baking does have an upper hand over mining, because unlike mining, baking does not require any expensive hardware or a lot of electricity. All it needs is just one thing, Tez. This has been made possible because, unlike other cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin and Ethereum, which both use proof-of-work systems, baking on Tezos uses a unique consensus mechanism called liquid proof-of-stake. So participants are rewarded with Tez tokens based on how many Tez they are baking, as opposed to how much mining power they control. So everyone who uses the network Tez holders like Neil are the ones who run it and are rewarded by it. Let's say Neil wants to earn rewards with his Tez. If he has enough Tez, a unit of account called a roll, that is 8,000 XTZ, he can do it all by himself. All he needs is a decent computer with an internet connection and one roll of Tez to become a baker. Alternatively, if Neil doesn't want to run his own baker or doesn't have a full role, he can still participate by delegating his Tez to another baker. The Tezos delegation process is safe and simple. Neil controls his Tez at all times, and the baker he selects keeps a percentage of his baking rewards as a fee. After an initial period of around 35 days, the baking rewards begin to be released. Once this initial period is over, Neil will earn rewards every cycle, approximately three days, as long as his baker is operational. Neil can also change his delegation to a new baker at any time. This encourages the baker to perform well. The better job it does at baking, the more people like Neil will delegate their Tez to it and the more rewards it will receive. In this way, baking on Tezos encourages open participation. So the baking and delegating encourages every Tez holder to participate, no matter how many Tez they have. Bakers all over the world would verify transactions, making Tezos stronger and more decentralized. They also get to vote on upgrades to the Tezos network. Today, there are hundreds of Tezos bakers. You can visit mytezosbaker.com or tezos-nodes.com to check out a full list of public bakers and their yield, fees and other parameters. So bake it or delegate it. The choice is always yours.